Hi guys, in this video I'm going to introduce the match function in a little example I made. So in this example we have three columns in our table. We have a type column which we're going to use to in our match function. We have a sales column and what we want to do is get the commission for this particular individual. So for individual one he, he is of class or type one, type A. His sales were $65,000 some odd for the first for this year and we want to calculate his commissions. Now depending on what type or what class of employee you are you have a different commission rate and that is given by this table over here in the top left. Okay, So for example a type A salesman will receive only 3% on his sales. Okay, A type B will receive 5% on his sales and a type C will receive 7% on his sales. Now we need a formula that is going to find the type of the particular individual, go over to this table and give us the interest rate so that then we can compute the commission. Okay, And the formula that we're going to use for this could be a VLOOKUP function and I've done videos on that before but here I want to introduce the MATCH function. So perhaps I can change this column to row number because we're just going to focus on getting the row number of this type in this table. So for example we should receive a return of 1 over here because A is in row 1. Again row 1. B is row 2. C is row 3. B is row 2. A is row 1. C is row 3. Right? That's relative to this table. Right? This being row 1, 2, and 3. Okay? and the match function will do that for us automatically because again with Excel you can always do stuff manually by hand but the whole point is when you get big data sets you don't want to be doing this stuff by hand okay so we use the match function so equals match equals we're gonna look up our lookup value is our type comma where we look it up is the column the first column, you can only choose a column of our commission rates table. We lock that always, comma, and the last argument is since we're dealing with words here and letters, we always want to type zero because we want an exact match. We close the parentheses, we hit enter, and what it does is it looks for A in this table, okay? And when it finds A, it returns back the column, the row number that we're interested in, which for us, for this guy, it was row one. Okay? So we'll type it again just so we go through it again. Equals match. We're looking for type. We're looking in the first column of this table. We lock that table, comma zero because we want exact match and that's it three arguments hit enter and we'll get one again and now we can just drag this formula down and see that it's working properly so for B we get row 2 which corresponds to row 2 of this column for C we get 3 so it looks like this is working properly okay and also again on and on B2 A1 C3 okay so this was just intended to be an introduction to the match function the match function becomes useful in conjunction with the index function and also sometimes alone by itself and for other purposes as well so I'm going to do another video on the match function where we're going to be matching numbers instead of letters because over here we have all letters right and how about if these were numbers and we were matching numbers to numbers where there isn't exact matches? Well, I'm going to deal with that in the next video. And I'm also going to do another video, which is going to be the index function used with the match function together, nested in each other. It's a quite advanced 
f formula and technique but uh, I think if you watch this video and watch the other video on the match function you can build up to the index function okay so I hope this was helpful be sure to check out my other Excel access PowerPoint and math videos subscribe to my page comment and have a great day